All right, this video is for numbers one through three on your test review. These would be in the level one questions on your test because I'm specifically telling you to solve by factors. All right, so my question is 2x squared minus 42x equals zero. There's two terms, so my options are to decide if there's a greatest common factor or difference of squares. Um, here, I always look for a GCF first, and that's what happens to be the factoring method. I can factor out from both terms a 6x. When I factor out a 6x, that goes in front. 12 divided by 6 is 2x minus 7. Now the zero prime law says you can't just factor. We are trying to solve the quadratic. So what I do is I take every factor that has an x, so 6x, and 2x minus 7, and set them equal to 0. Then I'm going to solve both of those for the value of x to get my solution. On the left one here, I just have to divide by 6, and I get one solution is at 0. And then over here, I would add 7, and then divide by 2. So the solution here would be 7 over 2, or 3.5. And that's it for the first problem. Number 2, 15x squared plus 16x minus 7. I have three terms. There is not a GCF. So I'm going to use the method of split the middle. I'm going to multiply the first and last term together, which is negative 105. And I need to find two terms that multiply to negative 105 and add to 16. Um, I'm thinking maybe 5. 21 and 5. Yeah, so positive 21, negative 5. It might take you a little longer to come up with those numbers, so, um, <laughs> sorry, I just, I had the answers in front of me, and I I've had a lot of practice. Let's see, so when I split the middle, that first term, 15x squared, comes down. I split up the 16x with a positive 21 and a negative 5x, and then minus 7. Now from here, I'm going to group. I pull the first two terms into a group, and the last two terms into a group. The first group has a GCF of 3x. So I pull that out in front, and when I divide 3x out of both of these terms, I get 5x plus 7. Over here, my third term is negative, so my GCF is going to be negative, and the only number those both have in common are negative 1. When I divide out a negative, I get 5x plus 7, which is good because both those terms, factors, are the same. Remember, you have to write your factored form, so 3x minus 1 times 5x plus 7, and I will set that equal to zero. Lastly, the zero product law says to take both of those factors, set them equal to zero, and you'll solve for x. So on the left here, I'll add one, and then divide by three. And then over here, I'll subtract seven, and then divide by five. And that's number two. All right, the third one, x squared minus 64. This is going to be difference of squares. All right, so here for difference of squares, you take the square root of x squared, which is x, and that goes first in each parenthesis. Then you take the square root of 64, which is 8. One parenthesis gets a plus, one gets minus. From there, just like the other problem, I set both factors equal to 0 and solve for x. My one factor is going to be negative 8, and then here I add 8 to get a positive 8. So that's solving by factoring. Um, the only other thing I want to say, because none of these problems were like this, every time you factor, you have to be set equal to 0. All three of these were already set equal to 0, which made it easy, but watch out for that.